Marie <laughs> in the building. What's going on, little lady? How you feeling today? I'm okay. And you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm over here getting uh, loaded up. Uh, well, I'm already on the road heading back, heading back to my good old Ohio, which you're from Columbus. I am. The home of yes. the uh, Hollywood Casino. Yep. Yeah, not 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 a fan of Hollywood Casino no more, man. I I I went, no, uh -uh. I, I went there maybe about uh, I'll say about a month ago. It's been a minute since I've been there, but at first it used to be one of my favorites to go to. But I I went there maybe about a month ago, and and I noticed uh. I noticed the uh, the parking lot got a meter in it now, and I'm over here looking at that shit like, <laughs> okay, oh, 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 what? Where this? No, you you gotta pay, you gotta pay, you gotta pay to be there now. So for they're 20, ridiculous. Yeah, so for 24 hours or overnight, you gotta pay 25 dollars. Hold on, they just put the hotel in there. What hotel? I thought, oh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking it's Iota. Oh, okay, okay. Because, yeah, because Hollywood don't have a hotel. <laughs> and they on the worst side of town. How they go? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I'm, I, and I'm, I'm tripping on the fact that, you know, it's already bad enough that their truck parking is kind of jacked up anyway. But but for them to for for them to actually try to make money off of us, that's not cool. That's not cool, especially especially when we go in there to to uh you know the the spend Lose money. money anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so I I was like I I seen that and I was like no nah, bro, I was like no nah, that's that's not even cool. But um, I haven't been to the casinos in forever. But now I definitely won't go to Hollywood. <laughs> man, it 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 is. I'm not paying you to gamble my money away. It's crazy because same thing with, <laughs> you know, same thing with you know with Jack Cleveland. You know, I, I I mess with Jack all the time. But where they got it at, you know, at first it was you know on paper it was a good idea back in the day because they had to they had to rush to hurry up and open up a casino in the Cleveland area. Right. But, right. But as the years progress, that, 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 that spot downtown right there on the corner of Ontario, that's, that's not a good spot, man. Number one. No, it's, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not. It, you got the, you got the bus, you, you, you got the bus, uh, the bus stop right in front of the doors, right in front of the entrance. You got you got bums asking for money all the time. It's it's just a you know it's just a horrible horrible location right now. So hopefully, right? You know, hopefully, I, I know. Um, I forgot the guy's name, but the owner of the Cavs, uh, Dan. Goodman or Dan Wright or whatever the hell his name is, uh, he he sold the uh, the one in Cincinnati. I know he sold that one. So what he probably need to do is sell the one downtown and let it go and and give it to somebody else that could probably, you know, find a better location. That's that's for starters. Find a better location, and uh, and and. Maybe a, a maybe a better outlook too. So, but yeah, man. So Columbus, absolutely. Columbus, Ohio, in the house. Another Ohio. Born and raised. That's, that's <laughs> what's up. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody and uh, let let them know a little bit about you. So um, my name is Marie. I'm 42. I'm an over the road truck driver. I have three boys. Um, and I like what I do. All right. What did what did you used to do before before you got into trucking? I drove a school bus for five years. Oh, okay, okay. So, being a school bus driver, did you did you did the school that you went to drive for? Did they did they train you for your class B, or did you go to a school 
for your class B? No. They um actually I drove for Columbus City Schools. Mm-hmm. The big we're the biggest district in Ohio. Um I trained with them. Oh, okay. So so you went They tra- train you and then they send you they train you and then they send you to Roadmaster to test out. Oh, okay, okay. Now back then Roadmaster used to be a good school before from what I heard from before uh Warner got their paws into them. But you, you went to test out with uh Roadmaster. How how did that how how did that uh play out for you? It was good. It was easy. We went to the one um we just went to the one on Philippi Road and mm-hmm. then you just had to do like your backing, your um air brake test. Um, and then like, they take you on the road. Of course you got to do your road test, but then we had to do our stop with our stop sign and all that as well. Okay. But I mean, it was easy. Where, where did you, uh, where, where did you go to get your, uh, your class A? I don't have those yet. So that's why I had went to Swift. Okay. 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 All right. So, so they flew me down to Richmond mm-hmm. to go to their schooling in Richmond. And, um, I was there nine days. Mm-hmm. Mind you, I have absolutely nothing, not even a point on my license. Mm-hmm. So from days one to three, the schooling is free. Mm-hmm. By that third day, you decide if it's for you or if it's not. If it's not for you, you leave scot-free. Right. So what Swift is doing is they're swiftly getting people. So I was there nine days. On my eighth afternoon, I was um, already out on the range training and all that in all right. track. All right, so hold on, so, hold, hold on. Let's 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 back up a little bit. Let's let's back up a little okay. bit. So you decided you you decided to to go ahead and get your your class A, right? Yes. And did you before you went to Swift? Did you did you you know did you look into any other uh, opportunities, other schooling or no, anything no. like that? Nope. No, because I have um, somebody that I know in Richmond that mm-hmm. was going through the schooling at Swift. He had already started. Mm-hmm. So he was a week ahead of me and he was like, it's pretty cool. You know, they're real relaxed. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 blah. So mm-hmm. I inquired into it, got accepted into the school see, and went down there. See that's see sometimes listening to other people, you probably had to put a gang grain of salt on that. <laughs> well, I mean, this is somebody I kind of trusted, you mm-hmm. know, and he's doing very well with Swift. Well, okay, okay. Like he went through it, he got hired on. He, I guess, you know, somewhat likes it at this point. He just said he won't stay with them forever. All right. So you so you you called them up. You said, hey, you know, I got my class B already, but uh, I want to come down, get my class A. Um, What was the conversation Mm -hmm. between you and the and the recruiter at the time? Okay, so I had already went and got my temp A's. Mm -hmm. So I called her and I told her, you know, this is what I want to do. The Columbus terminal didn't have any opening right for like weeks out so i'm like i don't want to wait weeks i want to do it right now i just Mm -hmm. want to get it over with so that's how we came to the agreement of going to richmond so um you know basically you know it's an awesome school this is what you're gonna do this is you know you're in class you know this long and then the next like you're only in class a week and then you're on the range two or three weeks however long it takes you Mm -hmm. so you know they she explained all of that or whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. They put you up in a hotel, all this, you know, fancy stuff until you get into the nitty gritty of it. All right. So, the, so after, after she got you accepted and everything, uh, you, how, how did you get down there? Did you, you drove down there or? So I drove down with, well, my kids actually drove me down there. Okay. Because Virginia um, ain't that far from Ohio, theoretically. No. Mm-mm, it only takes like eight hours. So mm-hmm. I just had my kids drive me down because they were going down for another event anyway. So um, I got down there, got situated, started class. Okay. <laughs> like, um, you know, the first week is, is all book work, 
going over right. rules, regulations, right? Um, so, you know, your paper logs, all of the nooks and crannies and the good stuff. So sound like everything was going semi smooth for you. You know, you you getting the you you getting the book smarts out the way and all like that. Uh-huh. Uh how how many people how how many people was actually in your class? So we had thirteen to begin with and by the end of the week we ended with um we had eight by the end of the week. Drug test. What? It, it, no. It, oh, it wasn't the drug test? It wasn't test? all drug test. What? We had one that left for a family emergency. Okay. We had one that um, something was up with his license, like he didn't have something on him or taken off of him or whatever. Okay. Um, The one girl, they pulled her and told her on day four. So now, mind you, she's locked in mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. pay her student loan. Okay. But they told her that they found something on her record. Okay. So she needed to leave and go figure that out, whatever. She could come back the following week. Wow. She, right. uh, she did that. All right. So they. Another so, guy they dismissed for mm-hmm. whatever. So they weed, so they weeding out everybody in the first week, which leaves you and a handful of other people. So, so far, you, you, you sounded like you're, you're locked in. So, uh, being locked in, did you have to sign off on, uh, on some type of, on some type of financial aid for the, uh, yep. you know, for the, uh, so you sign, you sign a contract mm-hmm. for the schooling. Mm-hmm. It's $7,995. It, it, what? It, it, what? Then, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? How much? It's seven. Seven thousand nine ninety five. Oh my god! That's so you lock into that, mm-hmm. and then if you come from out of state, they put you at the ho- at one of the hotels at the airport. Okay. You lock into it to in a housing. Uh, hold on. You lock yourself into a housing agreement oh. of seven hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. So wait. So we're locked in for the schooling at seven thousand nine hundred and ninety ninety five, and then yep. another. Well, let's round it up. Another eight hundred dollars. Well, let's round up that seven. So you locked in for eight thousand, and then for you're locked in for another eight hundred dollars for the. Uh-huh. But I. Okay, so. <laughs> Now, now, wait, y'all. Now, wait. I uh, I know this sounds like it, this sounds all like, but considering the fact that after you uh fulfilled the obligation with them for a year, you 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 would get you would get all that back, or you won't be responsible for it once you once you so f- fulfill that obligation, no. right? Two weeks after you got out. Mm-hmm. They start collecting payments. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see if I can remember what it was. I forget what it is, but I mean, it was something. I think it's like thirty dollars a week for the hotel, right? And it was like forty dollars a week, maybe for the schooling or whatever. I forget exactly what they were, but you pay that the first year. Okay. As long as you stay with them for that first year, everything else is wrote off. Oh, okay, so. But, but mind about, you, you're gonna but, have the housing paid off before the first year. But what about what you? But what about what you paid into it? Would you? Would would they give that? Did did, did they say anything about giving that back to you? No, no, you don't get that back. What? So no. so I'm I'm out. With my you know my mathematics is off right now. So we're looking at about forty. We're looking at what about forty thousand uh forty dollars a week for the school and thirty dollars a week for the uh so that's seventy dollars a week for the first year. Like I said, my, my calculations is off and plus I'm driving, so I'm not gonna break out the calculator. But anyway, we know that's a lot of money. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah. They but they 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 don't give that back to you, but but they're right off they're they're right off the balance. Yep. Okay. So 
for some odd reason, uh, let's say for some odd reason that, you know, you quit, you know, get fired, get terminated, then the rest of that balance is your responsibility, right? Yes. Okay. 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 Now, that's still that, that's still that's still crazy right there that they're gonna attach you for that. I, I would be like, well look, man, uh you don't have to worry about the housing. I'll just get my own hotel. <laughs> Eight hundred dollars. Right. Eight hundred dollars, man. Three weeks. Oh my God. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. I'm trying to see <laughs> if I can find my book. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, but the but the eight thousand dollars for for the schooling for three weeks, that's ridiculous too, man. The, you know, mm-hmm. you know, for fast for for a fast track program because basically that's what it is for a fast track program. Right. You're looking at for a fast track program at least five. I always said if you if you pay. You know, if you pay more than five thousand dollars for your CDL, you getting ripped off. <laughs> right. You you getting ripped Absolutely. off big time. And and eight thousand yep. and eight thousand dollars for a fast track, that's that's even crazy. But the way they looking at it is, okay, well, at the end of the year you don't you don't quote unquote have to pay that. But as you as as you can see, you ran into some problems. And now, what what are they trying to do now? I mean, you know, after after okay. after your eight so, day, you 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 still locked in. You signed everything. Okay, up. so so here I'm going to give you the breakdown. Okay, go, go ahead. So they offer a a generous tuition sharing program mm-hmm. that cover the cost of seven ninety nine. I mean seven thousand nine ninety five. Mm-hmm. So if you do all that. And you're hired, you remain active full time mm-hmm. for two full years. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll make it free, but the loan repayment is eighty dollars a week for fifty two weeks, mm-hmm. total of thirty eight thirty five. Mm. So the total tuition payment of seven seventy five seven nine nine five mm-hmm. will be paid. Then they charge you thirty four dollars a week. For 22 weeks for the housing. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to pull it because I still have all their information. So what happened was I was in there on my eighth day. Mm-hmm. They come and pull me. Said that they needed to talk to me. That they um, they were asking about an accident that I was involved in. Okay. So I had reported that accident to them. It was on the application. Mm-hmm. So it was. I mean, a healthy accident. Somebody rear-ended me on a brand new car. Cost like it was a thirty-plus thousand dollar accident. All right. I was not cited, and I was not at fault. Okay. So um, we got that cleared. So the next morning, um, at like seven thirty, they come and get me mm-hmm. and tell me they need to talk to me in the office. Mm-hmm. Mind you, I'm on day nine, so I'm locked in to their contract. Right. So they tell me that they find something um, on my record Mm -hmm. and I'm under a, um, I forget what they call it, but I'm I'm under a review right now. Okay. And I'm like, okay, well, I want to know what y'all found. Right. Like if you guys say I'm under this review, you got to know some ins and outs or some type of situation to it. Right. So, you know, let me know what is going on. So, um, I didn't get any answers from them that day at all. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, listen, I can tell you, I can assure you, I don't have as much of a point on my license. Right. So I don't, I'm not understanding what you guys are, you know, talking about or whatever. So they um, sent me back to the hotel. I packed from the hotel. I left. I have family down there. So I went to family. I called them the next day Mm -hmm. trying to continue to get answers. I called my recruiter. She said she had no idea. I needed to call safety and, you know, the safety department, whatever, call them. Right. They have no idea. They tell me I need to call another department. I call that department. They have no idea. So they start. So, giving, so, I, so, that, so they start giving you the runaround. Yep. So I got a complete runaround for a whole day. Mm-hmm. So I get on to driver's pulse. 
and I looked to see who does the background and who did their NBR report. Right. So both of those companies have phone numbers listed. Mm -hmm. So I called both of the companies. When I talked to the lady from the company that did the um, NBR report, she was like, Marie, we are not even understanding. You don't have a ticket. You don't have any points. There's nothing that we're seeing that would stop you from being able to drive. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. So then I called the background company. Now the background and company, uh, the background company is dr uh, not driver pulse, but uh, higher right, right? Um, I'm not sure if that's who they use or not. Let me see. I can look it up while we talk, and I can mm -hmm. tell you. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I um, so I you know call them, and I'm talking to them, mm -hmm. and she's like, "There's nothing, absolutely nothing on your record." Right. So we're not understanding. So it's nothing here. So I called the school leader back and I'm talking to him. And I said, listen, you guys play too much for real. Mm -hmm. So now I'm to the point where I'm irritated with your company mm -hmm. and I need answers. Like, you know, I have a right to know what y'all are talking about. Right. Like right. when I you tell do. you I've worked, I've been in mortgage, in the mortgage business. I used to work for a bank. Um, I've worked in the prisons in the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. I worked for the school board in Columbus. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. there's nothing that would, I mean, if there was something on there, it would stop me from other situations, especially the prison. So, you know, they just don't want to give any answers to anybody at all. So I'm not the only one. Like, um, there's another gentleman in the class with me who um, actually did fail with the you know, drug tests or whatever, mm -hmm. but they let him go eight days before they even said anything to him. Mm. And no, they use a company called driver IQ mm -hmm. for their background um, screening report. Mm -hmm. So when I go online, there's absolutely like nothing. It just says information return, you know, nothing, 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 nothing. Right. So, um, like, it just doesn't make any sense. So I told them, I said, listen, I'm not paying for your schooling. Mm -hmm. I'm not any of that because you guys released me and you can't give me any detail as to why I was released from your program. Right. You know what I'm saying? So then they're like, well, we can't, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. What? Um, yeah. Like, okay. So hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me let me see if I can rack my head around this. So you you you're locked in. You're in day eight. You you finished up the the the, the classroom portion of the CDL process. Now you're on the yard. You you you're on the yard getting the driving the pre trip and everything else portion of this uh of uh, of uh, the class. This is the yes. this this is day eight, so this is like the second week of, of day a, nine. A day, day nine. nine day nine of a what three week program, pretty much. Yep. Okay, yep. so you you almost a week you you almost a week away to 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 getting your license, only to be called, only to be called to be rejected, and you don't know why. Mhm. Mm yep. And they don't and and they're not giving you no no information as to why you're you you got rejected. Absolutely none. Wow. That's... So I'll tell you how unprofessional Swift is. Mm -hmm. So I called the processor today, who is the lady that called and questioned me about the accident from 2019. Mhm. Mm I called her today explained to her who I was. She's like, oh, yeah, I remember you. I said, well, I need some answers. I said, I need a copy of every report that y'all pulled on me. Mm -hmm. And I know that I have the right to request that, and you have to give that to me. Exactly. Exactly. She's like, well, hold on. I'm going to um, – let me look further into this, and I'm going to try to see if I can't get you some information. I said, okay. She comes back on the phone, and I kid you not, she's like, hey, I got to call you back. And I said, excuse me. She said, I got to call you back and hung up. What? what, what huh? What? <laughs> what? 
So needless to say, through all of this mess, their loan company called me two weeks ago wanting me to make a loan payment. No. And I asked him three times who he was talking to mm-hmm. and who he called for. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to give my full name or whatever, but he asked me by full name. Mm-hmm. I said, that's me, but I still want to know who you're calling for <laughs> because you're not calling for me. <laughs> and he said, I have a contract. <laughs> he said, I have a contract right here with your name on it stating that you agreed to pay this loan. I said, what I agreed to pay was the loan when I finished your class. Exactly. Now, had it been something on my end that I knew and was being sneaky, who are you calling for? Because you're not (laughs) calling to talk to me about this loan. I said, matter of fact, you need to call Mark, who's the school leader, Mm -hmm. and talk to him. Because you're not talking to me right now. Uh -uh, So I told him, I said, don't ever call me again. I have a lawyer involved in this situation Mm -hmm. to figure out what y'all are doing. Because like I said, I'm not the only one. So like the guys I was in class with are calling me now trying to figure out what steps I took to get out of it because Swift is so swiftly robbing folks. So not only that they, they fast tracking you guys, not only that they, they, they giving you the runaround, but they also trying to rip you off on that bogus loan. Absolutely. So what? So basically, what they're trying to say is, is that okay? Well, we got you in, we got you locked in. You was here for nine days, and and we need you to pay that whole. Uh, we we need you to pay that whole eight thousand dollars, bro. Bump that. I tell you what, this is what right. you this this is what y'all need to do. Okay. This is what y'all, I, I think what they need to do is separate the school from the company. Because if y'all yeah. going to do it that way, if y'all going to do it that way, then give me the opportunity to continue to go through the school and get my license. If you guys yeah. want me to pay for, I mean, pay for the license out of pocket. So right. give me the chance to go back and get my license and then we won't even have to worry about me coming on board because of whatever wh- whatever you guys found. Mm-hmm. So you need to separate again. You need to separate the school from the company. See that? Well, what I told them, mm-hmm. what I told, <laughs> what I told the school leader was mm-hmm. this: mm-hmm. you guys are ridiculous to me right now. Mm -hmm. because mind you, I've had my CDL six years. I've been in a straight truck over the road for a year. Mm -hmm. I said, you guys will hide. that cannot back up at all. But y'all sent her to North Carolina to test out because you knew she didn't have to do that backing. Mm -hmm. And she worked for Swift, Mm -hmm. but almost killed two people on the highway driving while she was in school. So I told him, I said, y'all hire people that run under bridges, that take out signs, but you won't hire a good driver. I'm confused. Please help me understand. Mm, Unbelievable. That's like when I tell you that's what I said to him. I said that to him because I just watched a video on Mm -hmm. TikTok of Mm -hmm. the Swift driver hitting the sign and taking out the bridge. And and, and in my in my opinion, I'm just saying, y'all, in my opinion, you know, I, I think it's just bad, bad, bad training on 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 that part to to train y'all your drivers well. But here you have a a good driver, a good driver that's willing to be trained well, and y'all y'all doing this kind of y'all doing this kind of BS tour. You know, that's that's not cool, man. That I is can't not tell cool. you stories about Swift that's ridiculous. Like, I have a friend that was in class with me. He got it out, got his license, and mm-hmm. he's been sitting six weeks waiting for Swift to call him for a mentor. Wow. Mm-hmm. See, my, my thing is this. My, my thing is this. Same thing with Swift. Same thing with CRST. Same thing with CR England. Just go in, get your license, and just bounce out. Yep. Out. Find you a company that will pay it. 
or, or you know, just make them little loan payments you, until you, it's paid. You know, not not even that. All you got to do is find your company that's going to give you a, a sign on bonus, and then all you got to do is yep. just take that sign on bonus, that quote unquote sign on bonus that they're going to spread out throughout the months anyway. Just take that and just put that into uh to the license that you guys owe for. And that's my mm-hmm. thing. And that's my thing with this right here is they you, okay. You you found something. All right. So that means I can't come to the company side. But what this got to do with me getting my license after I signed the contract? Because listen to what I'm about to tell you. Mm-hmm. Even though you signed that contract for that eight thousand. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the day you go to the DMV and you take your test and you pass it. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Will still hire you. Mm-hmm. You're not even hired on the company side until you get your class A. Mm. So it's not like you go through their school, you pay this eight thousand, and you got a guaranteed job. Eh, wrong answer. You still have to go through their hiring process once you complete their schooling. Oh, that means you got to do it all over again. Yeah, P- pretty much. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So okay, if you got to do it all over again, then what is the point of not letting you go? I mean, not letting you go back to uh, finish up the program. What what what's what's that about? I don't know. I told you I can't get no answers. That's why I involved my lawyer with it. All right. So you so. got to, uh, so you got your lawyer involved, and now that your lawyer is is uh, handling handling that, I'm sure you know you you can't get into the in, in, intricacies of of everything that's going on. But what are you doing in the meantime to 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 upgrade to your class A? Are are you now? Uh, are you now just say bump it? I'll just go ahead and pay for it myself because that's that's the best way to go. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's that's, yep. that's but right now I work. Mm-hmm. Well, I work for another company that I worked for before I went to Swift. Mm-hmm. I went back to them, so they have a class A program as well. Mm-hmm. And um, it's four thousand, but it's if you work for them for if you stay with them for a year, you don't owe anything. Okay, okay. So, so, so with this company right here, you you feel a little bit you feel a little bit more comfortable with this company because you did said in a post that you didn't like them. I don't like them. So I worked for them once before as an independent contractor. Um, for an owner operator Mm -hmm. and it was horrible. So I quit and, um, got hired on the company side. Mm -hmm. They said, come company, it's better. Mm -hmm. Went company side. Um, I didn't even start with them. I went straight from them to, um, I didn't even start on the company side at that point. I went straight to Swift. So then the day that all this stuff happened with Swift, I called the safety um, person from the company I'm with now. And talk to her, and she's like, Marie, there's absolutely nothing on your license. Like, mm-hmm. I'm looking at it right now. And so we went through that whole shebang or whatever. She said, are you ready to come company? I said, yep, let's go. <laughs> so I came back on the company side, but I sit a lot. And I don't, I'm, I'm a solo driver. Mm-hmm. I can do a Texas, or I can do a run from um, Maryland to Florida within two and a half days, being solo. And I want to be solo. I don't want a team driver. So, you know, they were like, we'll put you through our program. We'll do this. We'll do that. And, you know, everything that they kind of said is not there. Mm -hmm. So, um, but as, as of right now, as of right now, you just pretty much driving as a class B driver for them until, until, Mm -hmm. until you, until you upgrade to your class A and then you'll be able to, you'll be able to move on. I hope, (laughs) I hope they're not listening, but no. I um, have a trip planned in three weeks. I'm taking a trip and then I'm moving them. <laughs> that's what's like. Up. That's how bad it is. That's that's what's so, up. So you know, I'm going to find another company mm-hmm. that you know is true to what they say. Um, 
you know, and just move on. Like I said, I like being on the road. So I just need a company that appreciates their drivers. Let's just say that. Mary, man, I, I am so sorry that, that, that you're going through uh, all this. But, you know, this, this, this is not only a messed up moment, but it's a teachable moment. You, what, what you was able to learn uh, from your time with Swift. And what kind and of? I don't and recommend Swift to anybody. And what, yeah, I was saying. just about to say, what, what kind of advice that you would give to anybody that 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 may consider Swift as as their opportunity of choice? You better think twice about it. <laughs> you might want to think twice, and you want to make sure that before you even walk in their doors, there's nothing that they're going to try to bring back on you. Because, like I said, I was down there two weeks. Like, away from home, away from my kids, you know, all of that for two weeks for them to, you know, do some quick stuff. But nevertheless, it's a blessing in disguise, I guess. You know, there's there's obviously a better opportunity somewhere along the way for me. I'm just a positive person, so I don't let it downfall me. That's what's up. That's what's up. Mary, man, you are. But if you're thinking about going to quick, you better think twice about it. That's what I'm saying. That's what's up. Mary, you are a citizen. Thank you very much for coming on to the show and sharing your experience and everything. Uh, much love to you. Much uh, much success uh, to you. Definitely make sure you uh, you stay focused on your grind. Uh, my, you know, my my advice, my opinion, I, I really just think um, oh my god, this is closed? Huh. That's crazy. Uh I I just really just I, I just really just think that, you know, people that's interested in getting their CDLs, Get I, I I will highly say save your money if you're already you know employed. Save your money and, and try to get your CDL through uh an accredited school. Uh, if you're interested in getting your CDLs, you better get them now because there's going to be a lot of changes next year to getting yep. your CDL. But uh, but uh, but if you're interested, I, I would say go to a school so you won't be so you won't be financially obligated to any of these companies and end up in a situation like Marie here. So, Marie, thank you very much. Shout yep. out, shout out to the She Trucking Trucking Group. You know what I'm saying? Yes, the sir. beautiful young ladies in there. I, I, and that's why I, that's why I meet all you guys, and all you guys got all these great, uh, you know, all you guys got all these great uh, uh, stories and stuff like that so yeah definitely thank you for coming on i really do appreciate that uh that you're taking the time to come on and and talk to me you're welcome so all right you got the number so if you uh keep me keep me posted you know keep me posted on what's uh what's going on with you there little lady so if anything else uh you know anything else comes up or something like that let me know I sure will. All right. You take it easy and stay safe out there. You too, sweetie. Hey, go Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. You, you better be a Browns fan, right? Right? Uh, I mean, I'm. They do, they're they doing all right. <sighs> Look. I'm I, not going to tell you that. I don't want no talk, <laughs> talking. <laughs> I'm not even an Ohio State fan. <laughs> <laughs> You say you want to. You say you don't want. They doing good right now. You say you don't want to jinx it. I got you. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right. You take it easy, and I holler back at you in a minute. You too, sweetie. All right, now. Uh huh.